And then to an holy communion, it will be a blessing this day. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. This message is part three. It's a short message about avenues of covenant favor with God. Hallelujah. Jia zakupata kibali. Kuna jia ambazo ukizielewa utajipata wewe na mungu muko pamoja na sio tu kuwa pamoja maisha yako si ya kawaida vile mekua kuna favor inakufuata. Na wapedwa nikataka tuinge hiyo levo ili tufurahie hiyo wakovu. Asifiwa yesu. Tuinge hiyo levo buwana. Na hiyo ni kitu fanyika. Unapata let me give you an example. Dada Moja one day alikuja tukiwa na covenant giving. Ile tulikuja kikope. Haja alikuja bereni. Akasema hii jabo sasa nitati, nitati. Akajikakamua na yeye huuza boga. Yeye si mama boga lakini anauza boga. Mimi siitu watu wetu wa mama boga. Hiyo ni jina ya wanasiasa. Na yeye si hasora. Praise the Lord. Lakini alitenga kitu asema nitaenda huko. Akaja, akapaka laini, akatoa. Hakuondoka, akasema Mungu Bishop akiombea watu pale mwisho wabarikiwe kwa sababu ya covenant nitagojea. Aliporudi, Maya nauza boga na wanauza wakuwa wengi. Alipata watu wamepanga laini paka barabara wakanunua zake kawaida nanunua asubuhi inakaa mpaka labda siku ya pili siku hiyo saa saba, saa sita, likuwe maisha akarudia zingine saa nane, akafikiri labda asubuhi watu wamekuru wamechoka wakapaka laini akauza bae saa kumi sikaisha akawana faida siku hiyo ya elfu kumi na bili kitu haja yona akafika sasa wacha nisaidie wengine kuuza mahali ali, aliketi asaidie dada mwenzake watu wakapaga raini amen siku ya pili ikajirudia siku ya ine request with us day or wednesday akaja sasa mbisho mimi leo sikufungua biashara sijielewi tangu nije covenant giving na nikatembea na Mungu vile tufundisha na nikaamini kubarikiwa kumebadilika. Let me ask a question. Kufungua biashara watu wa Pagraini si wewe na si kawaida. Kuna maisha you need to discover in God ya aina hiyo. Hallelujah. Wengine wakaja hapa one morning. Tukaomba sana. Kabe bishop bwana ametuambia tukuone. Sawa. Tukaomba. Tukaomba na wakasema tugetaka kujipatanisha siju ni kwenda safari I, i had something kasema sawa mtabarikiwa eh hey, haya tukaomba kabisa na bwana kanena walipoenda wameweka boutique katikati ya zingine nyingi sasa walipoingia ni saa tatu hakuna customer watu wote ni store kuingia ni kama watu waliwafuata wakapaka line mpaka barabara ni moja avenue line kubwa vitu hiyo ikanunuliwa wakaanza kuchukua za majirani zikanunuliwa wakaanza kwa zingine ai jioni ikawa shida kufuga biashara walipo karibu saa 6 saa moja saa mbili walipotoka wakapitia hapa pia sasa bishop nasi hatujielewi kwa nini siku hiyo walikuwa na profit faida ya more than 650000 nikasema kutoka leo hamutajielewa kwa maana kile Mungu anafanya kinapita akili zenu mimi Mungu niambia kuna njia za kupata kitu kama hicho inaitwa avenues of favor avenues of na niwaambie sisi tulio koka hiyo dio yetu that's why unaona Mungu akisema tokeni katikati yao amen na anasema Alien maskini, he who is poor, let him say he is rich. Hallelujah. Now, 
Nataka tuangalie mambo ya matatu already tumekuwa na ibada ya kwanza na ya pili tukashiriki sehemu kubwa ah sasa na ya mwisho tulisema stand out eh tuliposoma Daniel moja aya nane Daniel akienda inchi ya Babylon alikuwa dugu kama wengine alikuwa dugu kama wengine tu fikiri alikuwa nacho ni kwamba yeye na wenzake mfaume alihesabu ni watu walio na elimu wana akili na angetaka kuwatumia katika ikuru yake waya watu wa maana lakini mfalme anasema mtakula chakula ambao ninakula hiyo chakula kwa Wayahudi ilikuwa chafu na jisi hata kama mtu ni mtumwa na kwenu kulibomolewa kwani Mungu alibomolewa do you know kito you should know favor ya Mungu kwanza inafanya kazi sana wakati wa kumebomolewa yeye yeah, wako huko Daniel akasema maji Daniel 1 verse 8 sitajitia nini unajisi na chakula ya ufalme na akasema tafadhali mkihesabu msiniandike hapo Nao hata kama alikuwa wa kawaida hali ya Danieli kutokuwa ya ka, wa kawaida ilianza hapo Ilianza hapo kwa maana waliposema wapewe tu maji na mtama na akasema wewe mkubwa e, wengine wakule nyama wakule kuku wakule guruwe wakule nini nami na wale wayahudi walikubalia imani yake wapewe mtama na maji akasema baada ya siku 10 wakaguliwe baada ya siku 10 bible inasema nyuso sao zilikuwa bora zaidi mili yao ilikuwa bora zaidi kuliko wale walikuwa chakula cha ufalme Mungu akaanza kuwapa afya ambao ni ya favor Bwana asifiwe Hallelujah That's how things work Kareb alikuwa wametumwa wapereleze inchi ya Canaan walikuwa wangapi 12 Alikuwa kama tu wengine ni dugu tu alichukuliwa kuja hapa wewe na wewe na wewe ndani lakini alipotokea sio wa kawaida bwana aka hapa there's a verse we read na siko nataka hata nanyi ibada hii muikose katika numbers chapter 14 verse 24 numbers chapter 14 verse 24 aha can you read from the screen but my servant Caleb because he has a different spirit in him and has followed me fully i will bring into the land where he went and his descendants shall inherit it tamsikize ni wapi alikuwa ameenda si walikuwa wamekanyanga hiyo inchi wakipeleleza na akaona pahali pazuri na nini haya aliporudi wenzako wasema haiwezekani haiwezekani majitu nini karibu akasema hapana hapana kama ni Mungu ali hapa ni kwetu tunaenda Haleluya mpaka kawa na upako mwingine akasema nyinyi mnaopa majitu mimi ninaona hawa ni kama mikate kwetu The confession agree with God can raise your faith Bwana Yesu ainuruya sana Unasikia neno kabisa Can you imagine such a statement nani anaongea but my servant Paka Mungu anaongea in a singular way my servant Hey, bereni hiyo jina ikatumika tuna Musa, Moses, my servant. Kumbe mtu akisimama vizuri waweza pata hiyo jina hata wewe, uitwe my servant. Kumbe kukitokea karebu hapa, aweza aitwa hivyo hata kama una kama dhale. Kumbe ukisimama kama Caleb, one day God can say this one, huyu ni my servant. Mata matatu, my servant. Number two different spirit and number three followed me fully mama tatu akisema kanaje na yeye mahali alitaka kanyanga hivi kule atapewa yote kile aliona kama ulithi atapewa yote do you know favor ya baraka eh for instance waliona kale bakipewa hebron eh ah inchi nzuri nyupa yake inapanuka 
Hey, anapanuka, anaridhi. Mirima ambao hata wengine hawangepata, ana anaridhi. Anabarikiwa mpaka anashidwa huu jamaa kilima anavuna. Huu jamaa ule mlima anakaa na amani. Haitokei hivi hivi na mjue hii mambo ya kudai baraka peke yake haitoshi ni vizuri we na different spirit for God fully amen Bwana sio sana na uwe nini his servant Dio sasa hata we hata hapa si Caleb anadai baraka ni utifu wake unaitisha baraka I pray that uwe umekubarika kukubarika kwako kuitisha baraka baada ya kuwa unakaa unakaa hauna imani unajichanganya kio nafanya kanisani za Mungu nishuka Mungu nikumbuke hapana si, sasa we jameni kareb agaba hivyo ati akumbukwe sio ndio anajulikana eh haleluya wewe umekaukiwa mpaka sema baba nikubuke sasa naomba uwe kama Kareb Mungu mwenyewe ndiye anaongea kuhusu yeye anamuita jina anasema kuna roho tofauti anasema itakubariki tubadilike badala kutafuta baraka na kulia tukubalike tukubalika kile Bwana hupewa na umekubalika upewe yote na mwaka huu hiyo ndio fefa moja Mungu ameniahidi watu wake in Jesus name Haleluya. Mimi nataka kuona Sadi mkija hapa mna nyuso zinameremeta. Kama Danieli baada ya kukula mtama na maji. <laughs> that one. Nyinyi priest mna wengine. There is something unique. Kwa maana katikati ya wengine hata kulipokuwa kubaya ulitokea kivi yako. Si kwa sababu kulikuwa kuzuri is because of who God is. Until God said, "Huyo ni mtumishi wangu." Ana roho tofauti. Amenifuata kabisa na kile aliona kule nitampa chote. Sasa hiyo hata haijadishi kumewaka au hakuja waka. Haijadishi uchumi uko vipi lakini hii inatoka juu, haitoki chini. Mungu wangu akumbuka hii kanisa. Hallelujah. Now, jambo lingine la maana ni faithfulness in calling. Mungu ana kitu kinaitwa waaminifu wa mwito fulani. Hata kama unaosha kanisa, hata kama unaiba kwaya, hata kama wewe ndio unaletaga maji tunakunywa, hata kama wewe ndio unaombea sisi ndio watu waokoke, kuna kitu kinaitwa waaminifu kamili kwa huo mwito. Takwambia <laughs> siri zingine. Because I have noticed kuna watu walisahau wewe unapatikana kusema baba nikubuke unapozuru wengi usinipite but listen dio avenues of ever zifunguke lazima ule mwito uko nao hata kama ni 5% god is what god want to see faithfulness in that calling na mungu anaanza na kile unajua dio akuingize kwa kile hujui for instance hata kama hujui mengi unajua kesho jioni kuna fellowship hata kama hujui mengi unajua siku fulani kuna kesha hata kama hujui mengi unajua hata masaa ibada hata kama hujui mengi jameni unajua masaa ya kuamka na kuomba hicho already kimefunuliwa shika na mwaminifu kwa maana sometimes tunatafuta kitu kipya na kile already kiko hapa ambao ndio msingi wa mwito watu walisahau na naniambia kitu kwapendwa Ukiona watu kama sisi tunakuja kesha sio because we are preaching no Wewe nimekuhubiria the other day ukaokoka Sasa umekomaa huwezi kuja mad fellowship ndio uone movie Huwezi kuja kesha ati kwa sababu umechoka nataka kuwaonya Sisi tuli mimi ni wahubiria mlinipata kwa kesha sikosi Mwinipata ukinikosa kesha uliza bishop ako Germany au ako Dubai Siwezi kosa Hata kama one day tulikuja na pastor Lisa van I was driving church van kutoka mbele na alijua nilikuwa maombi ya kufunga siku nyingi na tulichoka 
Nikamwambia sasa ndugu yangu nasikia niko na kiu cha Mungu. Na kwa maana kuna kesha kule jiro. Toeni vyombo. Natamani tu niende kesha nipige magoti masaa matatu niko na kiu cha Mungu. Yeye akaniambia bishop mimi kuongea ukweli. Hiyo neema sina. Yaani wewe tumechoka mimi tena tukulala kaambia mimi sio neema. Roho abao niko naye. Hairuhusu nilale uko na kesha. Wacha nikale kwa kesha. Haleluya. Eh, and we do, eh, kuna wakati you know nilala kwa kesha asubuhi naamka na hoga tu. Ninaenda gong ordination ya wachugaji siji walikuwa sita. And things work well. Na baada hapo niko na mkuto niko na cruise siji ilikuwa wapi? And we still preach. Sio kwa sababu tu na mili kama wewe. Issue ni kwamba you must have a different spirit. You must. Bila kuangalia what are other people saying. Even mke wako au mume wako au watu. Umulega Mungu. Paka bora aseme na huyu ako na different spirit. Sasa kuna kure kuwajibika being responsible of a calling. Usikae kama mtu hana mwito anatimiza. Unaweza amka kuoba, unaweza ongea ofyo. Ishi kama mtu abaye anajibika kwa mwito fulani. Ulio ndani yako. Otherwise, ukikaa tu kurara kwa muka. Unaweza kuja ushirika usikuje. That is dangerous. God agataka tuwe watu ambao wana mwito ambao wana wana palilia na hiyo inasaidia sana 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 hebu tuangalie some scriptures hebu tuangalie hii moja kuna mambo matatu paoro alipokuwa akimalizia mwendo akimalizia huduma kuna mambo matatu po mwenyewe aliandika hebu tuangalie hapo by the grace of god twende kitabu cha afiri eh, timotheo This is a verse about huwa tunasoma hata saa hata kwa mazishi. And sometimes I wonder. Paul alipokuwa anakaribia kufa. Aliandika hii barua ya mwisho kwa Timotheo, alimuita my son in faith. Na akaandika ukurasa huu wa mwisho, akasema verse 6, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 6. Kwa maana mimi sasa na miminwa na wakati wangu wa kufariki wakati wa kufariki kwangu umefika haya i'm already i'm already being poured out as a drink offering and the time of my departure is at hand you know sometimes hii kitu nani inafanya nifikirie can you imagine paul kakojera si mgojwa mm. lakini kuna mtu ameamua lazima muue so paul was waiting for death hakujua atawa walini lakini akaanza kuona maaskari wa kirumi wameanza kujiadaa kumuua jabra kwanza wameanza kumuumiza akajua vile kuna kaa munda wangu wa kuondoka umefika My time of departure has come. Na kaona kabisa nitaenda. Sasa aliposema ataenda akafikili let me give a testimony of three things za mwito wangu. Mama tatu ya mwito wangu. Ya kwanza akasema haya tuangalie nimevipiga vita vilivyo vizuri. Ikifika vita Hallelujah. This is a very important thing especially mtu akimalizia mwendo. Kwamba ukijichunguza sikia shuali. <sighs> Nimepigana vita nzuri. Ya pili Hallelujah. I have finished the the race. Hakusema. Unajua wakati alikuwa kwa Afripi ni kama alikuwa na deni na huduma. Akasema Ange korogo kuwa atuache hiyo oh, naona mtu akilenga na ijua 
eh? Akasema kama kufa kwangu ni faida na kuishi ni mazao. You know, Paul akiandika kitabu cha Filipi alikuwa jera. Lakini hiyo kitabu akiandika alikuwa half half. Anasema nikikufa kuna faida. Niende nikawe na Bwana. Lakini nikiishi kuna mazao. This time Bwana akaona vyema si yeye. Lakini Second Timothy chapter hiyo Hapa Paul hakusema angekorwa kwa kwako ni umithio. Hapa hakusema sasa kukufa kwangu ni faida. Uh-uh. Hapa alisema sasa wakati wangu wa kuondoka umefika. Sasa hana deni na huduma. Hasemi sasa nataka nikae kae kidogo watu waokoke. Hapana. Sema a uh-uh. Sasa hata sasa nikiitwa nasikia moyoni mwangu roho wa Bwana anaweka muhuri mama tatu. Akasema ya kwanza nimevipiga vita nzuri. Akisema hiyo roho wa Bwana anasema ndio mtumishi umemaliza hiyo. Ya pili ha? Ya pili ni gani? Aha, anasema ya pili aha mwendo nimeumali. Akisema hiyo roho wa Bwana anambia ndio umemaliza. Ya tatu I've kept the faith imani ni mailida hata hiyo tatu muhuri akimaliza hiyo roho hakusema angekorogo kwa kwa na kutora moyo hakusema sasa Paul rudi ukahubiri alimwambia pana akasema sasa naenda kupokea taji angalia hapo imeandikwa hivyo baada ya hayo sasa ni gani hayo hayo Nimewekewa taji ya haki ambayo Bwana muhukumu mwema muhukumu mwenye haki atanipa siku ile wala si mimi tu bali na watu wote pia waliopenda kufunua kwake amen na akaambia Timothy jitahidi uje kwangu upesi usijo kanipata nimekatwa alikuwa akatwa kichwa come quickly before they remove my head come Jitahidi uje kwangu. Haleluya. Na kuna baadhi ya watu walimwacha akaambia Timothy my son before ni end come. Bwana asiwe sana. I don't say this fresh. Ni vizuri uwe na kitu ambao every day unaaminika kwa jia tatu. Ya kwanza vita zuri every day check your good fight check your good fight keep it on every day agalia mwito hiyo ndio race race ni ile bio ya mwito Mungu amekuwekea na amekuambia hii kitabu ukufe hii utatimiza hii 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 utatimiza iangalie daily don't waste time Hili wakati ukifika utasema hakika nimemaliza nini mwendo. Arabia tatu, usichafua imani ilinde sana. Kama ni utakatifu, kama ni mafundisho, kama ni ibada, kama ni kanisa ka bila kuchafua. Ndio ukifika pale pia useme nimehifadhi imani. Na sasa ata, we Paulo hakusema sijui kama ninaenda bigu na usiendi alisema hapana. Ninaenda we about hujui kama utafika kwa sababu kuna watu wengi hawana hakika kwapo taenda Paul anasema i know naenda kupewa taji ambao mhukumu mwema Mungu ameniwekea pamoja na wote wanaongojea kufunduliwa kwake Bwana wabariki sana e, ukitaka kuona favor hayo mambo matatu kati mambo matatu ndio mtu humalizia pale akikufa mtu ambaye Mungu anaita kabisa yatuze vizuri be faithful to a call wacha julikana sio tu gari unakula sio tu kuishi kupumua hewa kuna mwito unachunga kuna imani unahifadhi kuna bio unapiga 
na kuna mambo ya mwito huo ambao hutapuuza every day kwa hapo kiamka hata iwe ni wakati wa christmas hayo mama tatu haikosi kwako bwana sio sana may the lord bless you as you keep the calling don't just leave fight the good fight don't just leave run your race don't just leave keep the faith bwana awabariki now atuna muda sasa but there are so many things that god wants us uh, let me mention one nimalizie inaitwa keep the ways of god tunza jia za bwana katika vita what the devil does ni kuleta mukorogo 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 confusion nini ndio jia za Mungu usiharibu wakati wa vita na mchafuko kata na njia za Bwana kata kabisa shishike eh waje ijulikane hata kama umeinukiwaje kuna mambo yako na Mungu huwezi haribu na Mungu akijua hivyo na kuambia ukienda soko wende nuhe hata kama watu wamekuinukia utapata wewe na Mungu mko pamoja na kuna fever ambao haitaondoka lakini watu wakija na mchafuko yao wa kuingilie eh mwishoe unaungana na wao mwishoe unaongea kama wao that is dangerous and that's why job anasema hivi katika job chapter 1 job ayubu moja uh, trusting that unaweza ku access your bible Job chapter 1 verse 20 inasema hivi inasema hivi Mhm Shetani alikuwa amesema we Job Uwa vitu yake yote Uwa watoto Huyu atachafuka atasahau kuna Mungu Badra ya Ayubu kusahau kuna Mungu Bible nasema aha ndipo Ayubu akainuka akalirarua joho lake kisha akanyoa kichwa chake na kuaguka chini na kusujudia badala ya kuwa confused paka akose Mungu ni kusujudia alisujudia do you know shetani alikuwa amesukuma ayubu kiwango ambacho alijua the way huu mtu ni mchapa ni vigumu sana aabudu the way huyu mtu nimemchafua The way huyu mtu nimemuinukia the way nimempiga ah haiweza kandu ameisha but the devil found this man worshiping hallelujah in the name of jesus keep his wish hey hey hallelujah ile program shetani anatumia kuchafua watu akidhani kwamba hawatasujudia atakapo kuja kwako Let the devil see you worshiping instead of kuogea kurukwa na akili kujiongelesha kwa barabara wacha julikane kwamba haukuwa na depression what happened uli inama beza Mungu na ukasujudia in fact watu wanao at this side hawapati depression hawapati 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 kama kuna wakati Mungu ufanya kazi kubwa kwa akili ni wakati unasujudia. God takes over. Instead of the brain breaking, you break Satan and his works. Hallelujah. Kitu kingine ambacho kitakusaidia ni, ni mdomo. Ukienda katika 21 akasema because setani hugojea mdomo wako. Because the devil knows any time utaongea kinyume na utakatifu ya Mungu kutaharibika. Sasa agalia yale maneno shetani alikuwa anataka kuweka kwa mdomo wa Ayubu haikuingia hata wewe siingie. Hata wewe usiingie. Nasema yale maneno shetani anataka kuweka kwa mdomo wako baada ya kukuinukia waacha aone haikuingia. Mm. Pokeni amani. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Bible says something very unique. Hiyo verse 21 akasema, "Mimi nilitoka tuboni mwa mama yangu niliuchi. Nami nitarudi tena huku uchi vile vile. 
Bwana alitoa. Bwana ametoa. Jina la Bwana nalibarikiwe. Devil hapa alipata alipata knockout. Wacha ile Tyson Bwana, hii ni upako ya ajabu. Knockout. Hii guy watoto wamekufa wote. Gamia zimeisha. Ngombe zimeisha. Mama naye amekuacha. Hey hey, kumeharibika mapigo ndio haya. Ha ye ye ya. Na unasema jina la Bwana libariki? Haya, na badala ya kuongea mambo ya ujio sema, unajua ngoma asema mimi kidet something. Job had nothing to do with Satan. Ye alisema Mungu ndiye alinipa. Na Mungu ndiye amechukua. He had a revelation. Alikuwa anajua mwenye kuchukua ayazarudisha. Do you know when you commit things to God, God knows how to pay and to renew. But Satan, mukiangalia shetani, basi manje John 10:10, mwizi aiba auwe na haribu. Shetani prosesi yake ni akiiba auwe na haribu kama kitu chako kitagukia mkono wa Mungu hata kiishe haitaishika haita ingia mambo mengine Bwana haleluya Bwana process yake ni hii ikiisha alete ingine anasema yeye ndiye chemichemi ya uzima haleluya yeye badala ya kukauka ni kuleta umeiona nyumba ya ndugu moja imechomeka akatulia kaabudu Baadae kwa maana ameabudu akapewa akili akajika nyumba ingine kubwa mpaka akaanza kusema na shukuru ilichomea kwa maana nimepata ingine kubwa anasema kama hiki chomeka sikakuwa na akili yani unapata in always there is worship in Jesus name hallelujah bwana asifiwe Ati watu walikuja kukuibia wakora. Kwa only to discover that walipokustua ndio uliinua uso kama Abraham. Ukaona plot ngambo ile. Ukaona ese tingina ngambo ile. Bwana kwambia hapa sio kwako hamia kule nikubariki. You cannot fail. God will always cause you to worship and inherit. In Jesus name. Haya inamaliziaje? Verse 22 naona hapo Katika mambo hayo yote Ayubu hakufanya dhambi wala hakumwazia Mungu kwa upubavu In all this hallelujah Can we read it loudly Katika mambo hayo yote Ayubu hakufanya dhambi wala hakumwazia Mungu kwa upubavu Wacha matokeo ya hiyo majaribu shetani ametumia kuagusha wengine wacha iandike hivi Katika mambo yote wakaguongo Sara gatimo saimo wiri hakufanya dhambi na hata katika akili hukukubali kumwazia Mungu kwa kubafu Sasa ukitokea sasa bwana sema haya umepita e, mtihani e, umeniabudu badala ya kunitusi e, Haya umeninamia badala ya kuwa na depression eh haya na katika mambao yote umeniwaza tu mema eh ah basi kuja nikulipe kitu na kingine kwa maana Mungu sio mwizi ah our god is not a thief pigeni huyu Mungu makofi hallelujah and therefore ni vizuri kuelewa jia ambazo zinaitwa jia ambazo hata upitie kwenye bonde la uvuru wa mauti utatokea tu na favor isiyo ya kawaida Mungu wa milele awabariki Amen Nikitaka ukienda by the grace of God ukienda usome job eh usome job 42 Just go and read that Job 42 I like that scripture yeah. Acha ni acha ni kuoshesha kidogo. <laughs> Dipo Ayubu akamjibu Bwana. We, sasa ni siku za kurejeshewa. Akamjibu Bwana, najua ya kuwa waweza kufanya mambo yote. Na kuwa 
makusudi yako hayawezi kuzuilika ni nani huyu afichae mashauri bila maalifa haleluya verse 5 nilikuwa nime nimesikia habari zako kwa kusikia kwa masikio bali sasa jina langu linakuona natamwa gaye verse wakati barabara ya restoration ilianza ile itokea akasema Mungu kuna jambo nimegudua bereni nikusikia nilikuwa nasikia mambo yako lakini sasa tumekutana uso kwa u na akasemaje sasa jicho langu linakuona after all this my eyes are now seeing you shetani alifikiri taona tu watoto waliopotea nione hii but instead of seeing all this i now see you na kutoka hapo sasa hiyo mkutano hiyo mkutano aliyejeshewa kitu chochote alikuwa amepotesa mara mbili na bible nasema akaishi zaidi ukiangalia miaka mingi sana later ukiangalia nasema kwamba pale chini kisha baada mambo hayo ayubu akaishi verse 16 ayubu akaishi miaka 140 140 years naye akawaona wanawe na wana wa wanawe hata vizazi vine basi ayubu akafa mzee sana mwenye kujawa na siku hiyo ndio formula ya Mungu Mungu na kuabudu just start and worship that god start and worship the god Ye masala babo shaka rike masika tapa posaka reke tama just tell god oh my god the god of job is powerful oh you know you know how to raise your servants you know how to honor their lives muabudu bwana simama tu muite majina yake muite majina yake muite majina muite hala maseta maka shera lima bosa na katika meza ya bwana leo Tunaigizwa kwa njia za fever. Biashara ya fever. Kuzaa watoto na fever. Haleluya! Mambo yale yalikuwa magumu yatashughulikiwa na utaona mafuta ya Bwana katika ungumu na milima ambayo ilikuwa mzito. Lord I give you praise for your opening way of favor. Avenues of favor. Avenues of favor. Abarabo shekata just tell God to bless your life lipokeno la bwana lipaseka tapa sherere mazika nama just pray talk for sikata ninakuinamia bwana ninakushukuru mfalme ninakupenda mungu wangu kwa utukufu wa bwana uripa sheketeba shina makata shekerere babosa ay ay Shana mama baba baba sherere baba roba sherere baba baba shekata kabaka sheketere ne masa shekata paposaka shena mikatori masia haleluya 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 bwana mungu wangu nakupa sifa nakupa sifa